Hi there, I'm Jeff Hastings and welcome once again to SLJ.com. All month long I've been using this. It's the Dell Streak and all month long I've been fielding questions from people who invariably see it in my hand and say, is that your phone? Yeah, it's kind of big for a phone, but if you can get over its oversized form factor as a phone, you'll be pretty impressed by the stuff that it does. I would always be at a loss for words trying to explain to people, well, it's so much more than a phone. It's, 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 well, here's what it is. I made a list. I'm going to refer to it now. It's a web browser. It's a very good web browser too. It's an Android-based tablet, and um, with a five-inch diagonal screen, it's good at browsing standard websites as well as mobile websites. Unlike my standard phone, which, you know, is okay at browsing mobile sites and horrible at browsing standard websites. This one does both well. It's a uh, GPS. It uh, has assisted GPS technology built right in. It also has a compass, so it's locationally aware. So it's good um, when you're using it with apps like um, Foursquare and Yelp that depend on locational information. It's also good for turn-by-turn -turn navigation. You can actually buy a mounting kit and use this in your car. Um, it does video and still photography and videography at a bunch of different quality levels. In fact, it has two cameras. Um, on the user side, there's a VGA camera, presumably for video conferencing and um, you know taking pictures of yourself. On the other side, there's a higher quality camera with, uh, I believe it's dual LED flash that you can turn on or off, and that's a five megapixel camera right there. So that's good for video and for um, still photography. It's, um, it makes a great e-reader. Again, the five inch size makes it serviceable as an e-book reader using Barnes & Noble's Nook app or the Amazon Kindle app or a variety of others. It's a music player. You can use it as a music player for MP3s that you store on the machine or use apps like Pandora. And um, speaking of apps, you have access to thousands of them um, in the rapidly growing um, Android marketplace. Did I mention that this is not the same Dell Streak that I was reviewing all month long? Actually, yesterday, I've been waiting for this moment, yesterday, the much anticipated um, version of Android called, called Froyo, nicknamed Froyo, Android 2.2 came out and it really changed the complexion of this device so much so that I'm still kind of getting used to it after um, having just a couple hours experience with the new OS. One of the things that you'll notice right away if you do the upgrade or if you saw what it looked like as an Android 1.6 device is um, the interface is just a little bit more elegant and a little bit more functional, I think. Um, all my apps, for example, if I want to see all of them, this is my home um, stage right here. Below that, I can go to all my apps, um, which are down below. I think that's pretty nice. The interface I'm very pleased with. The other thing that's a big difference for, I think, a lot of users is the fact that this device is now um, Adobe Flash compatible, so that means that there are that more video is going to be viewable on more sites, and more sites are going to render correctly um, the, the ones that are built using Adobe Flash, and there are plenty of those. Here's the biggest thing for me though, among all of the improvements of the new operating system is this is my favorite because this was almost a deal breaker for me with the former one. With the former operating system, the, the uh, virtual keyboard was really cramped and that was partially due to the fact that there was a numeric keypad in the right hand quarter of the device. There was a numeric keypad making the alpha keypad a lot smaller, which is a problem for ham-fingered people like me. Another thing that they did to make typing and data and entry a little bit easier is that when you touch a key, it makes an audible click. It's kind of like a reminiscent of a typewriter, and it lights up and really lets you know when you're making the proper contact with the device. The former keyboard too was a little bit hypersensitive. It was just difficult to tell when you were applying the um, correct amount of uh, pressure on the virtual keyboard. Here's another thing they did which I am not even going to try to really use. 
but I bet a lot of people are going to like this. This keyboard is what's called a, they call it a swipe keyboard, S-W-Y-P-E. And what you can do is point from one key to the next, and actually you can form words. So you can go S-W-Y-P-E. You see that? And actually, that works pretty well. See how it typed swipe in there? A swipe keyboard. Nifty little innovation among many that came with the Android update. Why carry around a five and a half inch cell phone? Well, because you can browse the web with it. You can read ebooks on it very comfortably. Plus a whole lot more. And there's a whole universe of Android based apps out there in the Android marketplace to take advantage of. The Dell Streak. Find out more about it at this URL. For School Library Journal and SLJ.com, I'm Jeff Hastings.